I want to create a logic circuit and a truth table based on this Boolean expression. I see on this uh, in this Boolean expression that I've got uh, a little plus symbol, which is going to tell me that I've got um, an OR in this digital circuit, and the B and the C are right beside each other, representing the multiplication symbol. So I know that those two things are going to be anded together. Let's start drawing out the circuit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start drawing uh, one piece at a time. I know that the, the B and the C are anded together. I'm going to kind of go in, uh, in order of operations. I'm, I'm going to go uh, with the anded thing first. It's using the multiplication symbol. I'm going to go with... Uh, with it first. I'm going to draw an AND. And on that AND I've got the two things, the two inputs. And in this Boolean expression it was B and C. My Boolean expression said that A was ORed with B and C. So I'm going to write, uh, I'm going to write that out. I've got, uh, I've got the The output of B and C. Going into an OR gate. And what uh, what's getting ORed with that? Is an A. So the output of this is the A ORed with B and C. See if we can clean this up a bit. Okay, that looks better. So, my Boolean expression here, my digital circuit is uh, is complete here. Um, I've got my my inputs. My output is is represented there. The Boolean expression, the output. Um, and uh, to remind you how this got constructed, I had uh, I knew that the B and the C got anded together, so we drew it. And we knew that uh, that B and C got ORed with, with an A, so the uh, we drew the OR. B and C going into it, ORed with uh, the A, and there, there's the output. Let's look at the truth table that uh, we can create with this. When I have combination circuits like this, I like to break it up into smaller chunks to evaluate for the the truth table so uh, that's what we've done here I've I've already built this uh, this truth table kind of built it out but um, within it I had the uh, the three inputs the A, the B, the C so three inputs going in but I also left room for what uh, what the output of this B ended with C I left uh, room for that here in the truth table so that we could evaluate uh, this um, as it's going to be an input into that OR gate. Let's look at, at B, B ended with C which is going to be outputted right there B ended with C. Remember um, to get a 1 B and C are going to have to be 1 so I'm looking at B and C and I've got zero 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 one zero 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 one. Now this uh this is gonna be one of the inputs into the, the OR gate along with A. So we got A ORed with uh B and C. It's gonna output this right here on our truth table. So let's start to uh, to evaluate that out. Um, two things that we're we're evaluating together is uh, this column, B and with C, or with A. So uh, we're going to output a, a one here if one or the other uh, is a one. 
So we've got zero, 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 one, 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 one. So uh, this output here uh, is going to be represented by uh, this truth table. And there it is cleaned up. We've got the the Boolean expression. Uh, from that, we used our uh, our uh, expression to make that digital logic gate, and we used the logic gate to make the truth table. All three of those elements are uh, representing the same thing, but we used one to make the other.